T. Erica with another segment of News for Women. Don Wooten blew the whistle on an ICE detention center in Georgia that was forcefully sterilizing women immigrants detained there. It was a courageous act that cost her and her five children their home, a normal life, mental health, and more. Dawn, a nurse at the Irwin County Detention Center, raised concerns internally to management about immigrants in detention who experienced unnecessary, non-consensual hysterectomies and other invasive gynecological, gynecological procedures, as well as a lack of protection against COVID. Soon after she spoke about her concerns, she was demoted to an on-call position. With the help of advocacy groups, Dawn filed a public whistleblower complaint with the Office of Inspector General and Congress in September 2020. 57 women survivors of unwanted medical procedures from ICDC came forward to tell their stories and filed a class action lawsuit to seek justice for the mistreatment they suffered. Because of the agency investigations, the whistleblower complaint set in motion, the Department of Homeland Security moved to end the detention center's contract to detain immigrants, effective September 2021, just one year after Don's claims were made public. Don is now asking for support as she reveals her life in a GoFundMe title, Whistleblowing Nurse Seeks to Reveal and Rise. Please support. A Polish woman reportedly died in a hospital this week after she was forced to carry a dead fetus for more than a week. The hospital says 37-year-old Agnesa had been pregnant with twin fetuses, one of which died on December 23rd last year. Instead of immediately removing the dead fetus to avoid septus, the hospital said in a statement that it used a wait and see approach as there was a chance to save the second child. However, the second fetus soon died as well, leading the hospital to decide to terminate the pregnancy a few weeks after, a full week after the first fetus died on December 31st, likely because doctors feel criminal charges for providing an abortion. Polish activists are blaming the country's near total abortion ban, which took effect in 2021, saying doctors are reluctant to carry out abortions, even to save a pregnant person's life for fear of prosecution. This refusal to provide life-saving abortion care has resulted in the death of at least one other Polish woman last year. Agnieszka was a mother and wife who was survived by her husband and three children. Survivors of India's welfare system have been awarded thousands of dollars in compensation, according to the National Human Rights Commission. More than four dozen former residents of a homeless shelter for girls in North India endured horrific conditions and many were sexually assaulted. 34 of the women were raped by shelter employees and officials of the state welfare department, according to the police. At least one was as young as 10. The oldest was 19. In 2020, shelter officials were found guilty of offenses ranging from negligence of duty to gang rape. 12 of the defendants received life sentences. All of the 49 girls who have been living in the shelter in 2018 received compensation. They were awarded between $4,000 and $12,000 apiece, according to the National Human Rights Commission. The fight for women's rights does not end with this report. I am now organizing free women's progress seminars every month to help women navigate life's trickiest circumstances. Subscribe to fightforwomensrights.org for your official invitation to participate. Be empowered to progress. I am T. Erica. This is News for Women. Thank you for watching.